Hi all. So in this video, we will work on the blog app welcome page. So our blog app welcome page will look like this after this video and the next coming video. I will cover the UI development part on this video. Then the animation part we will done on the next coming video. I created a newly Flutter app from the scratch because first two video was not up to the mark. So what I will do that I will create a new sign in and sign up page using this theme. This theme is inspired by the media map. So let me clear the all the code which is unnecessary from the main dot dot file. I will take help of awesome Flutter snippet to generate a snippet for my this app. In the main dot dot file, I will use the stateless widget. The name of this is my app. Then this my app class will return a material app widget, and the home page of this material app widget will be the our welcome page. For that, let me create a new folder called pages. Inside the pages, we will put the all the pages related file. Let me create a welcome dot dot file where we will create a UI of our welcome page. First, let me import the Flutter material dot dot package. Then, with help of awesome Flutter snippet, I will create a stateful class on this file. Let me name of this file as a welcome page. Now what I will do, I will return a scaffold widget from the welcome page. To implement a gradient color property, we will use the container. The height and width of the container will be the same of the any mobile screen. With help of media query, we will get access of the height and width of any mobile screen. Then the decoration part. In the decoration part, we will use box decoration. Box decoration have a property called gradient. So in the gradient, we will use linear gradient. Linear gradient have a property called colors. First color will be white and second color will be green. Then we have to set the offset. In the begin, we will set the offset from 0, 0.0 to 1.0. It will be a starting point of our color. And the end also will be same. To achieve the gradient property, we will set the stops also. So in the stop also, we have a 0, 0.0 to 1.0. And the tilt mode is repeated. Now our gradient property is set. Let me import the welcome page in the main dot dot file. In the home property, we will assign the welcome page and import the welcome page using control dot for the Linux or hit the bulb bus button. With help of that, we will import the welcome page. If you save the code then you will see on the screen that our gradient property is now implemented. Let's put all the widget inside the container. To achieve it we have to take help of column. Inside the children we will put all the widget. Our first widget is text. For the styling purpose I already created a text file where I put it to all the code of the styling. What I will do that I will paste the code of the styling inside the description so you can take help of that. The first text widget is for your company name mine is Davish tag and for the styling I will take reference of the file. If I will copy and paste the styling over here 
then hit save then we will see that on the top we have to give a padding so let me wrap the column widget with the help of padding so let me do padding first then we will implement our other widget now our padding is implemented before implementing the second widget we have to give a spacing between these two widget for that let's use the size box in the size box we will use height as a property with the help of meta query we will give spacing because there is a large space between these two widget the second widget is also takes widget here we will put our brand takes like great story for great person and for the styling we will take a reference of the styling code again copy and paste that code on the style part if you save then you will find that we have to do later spacing also let me copy the later spacing of the first widget to this widget then we have to align the text into center so text have a additional property called align where we can specify to text align as a center now it's perfect so let me see that what are the other widget so you can see that we have sign up with google sign up with facebook and sign up with email button over there for that what i will do i will create a custom method that will return a widget i will implement it such like that it will return a button like that widget then i will just have to call this method three time then it will implement the three button widget for us so let me implement that for that we will take help of container and in the container we will specify height 60 and for the width we will take help of media query the container will return a card as a child and the card will return a row as a child because we have two thing on the card first one is image and second one is text for the image i will create a folder called assets i already downloaded all the images of the google logo facebook logo and email logo for this app let me put this thing on the assets folder after putting the images on the assets folder we have to specify the path of asset folder inside the pubspec.yaml file we have to specify path like this then if you save it will run the flutter pub git now our custom widget will take a two parameter first one is the path of the image and second one is the text which will be printed on the card with the help of image.asset we will implement the image widget give a initial width and height of this image first let me give a spacing between the image widget and the text widget after it in the text widget i have to set the styling let me set the styling of the text widget with the help of the file 
which I created. Now it's done. Let me use this custom widget on the build method. Before that we have to give a spacing between second widget and the this button. Then we have to specify the path of the image and then we have to specify the text over here. Then if I will save, then we will see that we have to adjust the image over there and also add the padding. Let me adjust the image first, then add a padding over there. Now after the adding the padding and the image adjustment, our first button will look like this. Let me create a copy of this, paste it and implement and use it for the Facebook button. Same for the email button. Okay. Now the last thing is there is text fill. For that we have to use row again. There is a two widget inside the row. The first one is already have an account and second one is sign in button. Let me implement over there. For that I will use the styling of the already have an account as a color gray and font size will be 17. Similarly for the sign in, the color will be green and the font size will be 17. Give a main axis alignment of the row as a center. So the widget will be come in the center. If you save then you can see that our app is now fully implemented. The thing is not implemented is the animation and the font style. We will do the animation and the changing the font style on the next video. Please subscribe the channel to motivate me and hit the like button and stay tuned because the second video will be on the animation. Okay, thank you and happy coding.